Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a runway haul. This isn't like the traditional runway hauls where they have the bag and they open it and it's like a first view. I was going to do a video like that, but unfortunately it got deleted. But a lot of these clothes I have here are very new or some of them I have are like I had for a long time. I'm just going to do a review and let you know the quality, uh, price, and if it's worth it. And yeah, let's get started. So the first item I have is this dress. Now, if you notice, it does say Shein on it, but there's a whole conspiracy about Shein and Romway uh, being the same brand, uh, you going to the same people to make their items. I don't know. I really don't care. I just know that Romway has the same items as Shein, but is way cheaper on certain items. So this is a dress I have. It's an army green, and it has like a rib texture texture uh design and pattern on it i don't know exactly how to describe it It goes like an in and out look to it and it's i i love this so much i had it actually for a few months this is not one of my newer items but i definitely wore this dress out and got so many compliments it goes all the way down below your knee and it has a slit right here and it doesn't go up too high it's not right in the middle it's actually on the side and it's not just like a little cut that some items do it actually is uh, sewn and well put together there's no loose threads that I've had a problem with this it never broke on me or I never heard it uh, stretch or never seen it stretch out this material is fairly good it's does it's not sheer uh, I've never had a problem with anyone seeing anything uh, behind it or under it the only problem I do have with it is that you could kind of see your bra on the sideline. It's just very narrow on the chest. But besides that, I just didn't have a problem with it. I could always uh, pull it or just put some fashion tape. Uh, I've worn this many times, and again, I've gotten so many compliments, and it's actually very cheap. So I definitely recommend this dress. It's a beautiful color, and it is what it what the photo shows. The next item I have is this uh, army green color again with the outline black uh, stripes on the outside. This is not one of my newer items as well. I've had this uh, the same time I had the dress. This I do wear frequently in the summer. It's very soft. It's very uh, it's very flowy on the body, which I did not originally a 10 or thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more fitted onto the body and be and tight. I don't think the picture had it on a model. So I think I just figured my head was going to be a crop top that was, you know, that was tight on to the skin. But no, it's not. It's just, it's flowy. The material is soft. This material isn't sheer again. It's just a basic army tank top. I do like it. It's not it's well made it's not like bad quality at all it's not gonna it never gave me issues with being itchy or anything the straps are soft as well this is good material overall and it's fairly cheap so i think it's worth it just it's not as uh it's not as tight on the body as some other crop tops are so my next item is one of my uh newer items that i got from wrong way this shirt I love a lot. It's a crop top mustard color. It has a hoodie and it's fairly it's fairly crop. I'm not gonna lie. It comes up higher than I believe some crop tops go. I think this shirt is a great shirt. Uh, the material isn't as soft as some other items I have. It is it is not itchy personally to me. It's thin. It's not something bulky. It's not a bulky sweater. So it's definitely a summer sweater and maybe a spring or fall sweater but it's definitely not for like anything cold or anything it's not gonna keep you warm the only like big problem i kind of have with this item is that if you have a, a pet a dog or anything that sheds it will stick to this shirt because even though it's one of my newer items i've had had it long enough for me to for my dog's hair to collect to it and some of the items on runway don't have that a lot of actually items of wrong ways do, does not have that problem uh but this shirt definitely does it has lint all over it and my, my yeah my dog's hair is just all over it this i mean i could always take it off with a limb roller but it just it just sticks a lot to this to this item so this shirt i have right now you can see is very similar to the shirt i'm wearing uh on so 
if you don't know already i love the color maroon i love burgundy red it's just something i love so i have a lot of clothes that are in the maroon color so when i saw this i just had to have it it's definitely a summer shirt it has bell bottom uh endings to it which is very nice it's very flowy the difference from this and and the shirt i'm wearing right now is mine has straps on and this does not it's just a tight band uh off the shoulder much like it compliments on it all the time the it's you, when you look at it it looks sheer and it looks very uh see-through like i could see the hanger through it but when you're wearing it you, you really can't see what's under it it has these straps at the end of it to tie a bow and something like you on it i definitely recommend it it's a beautiful color it's a nice it's nice to wear to a dinner, you know, a party. So the next one you see is kind of like the last one I just showed you, but in blue. And that's originally what I thought it was. It wasn't promoted under the same photo and just in different color. It was uh, a different, like, photo, different uh, price and everything, I believe. I thought it was going to be the same thing, just with a tassel kind of design at the end of the string. It was definitely not the same in the photo it looks like the photo but the back of it was not exactly shown in like well in the photo for me to realize it and a lot of reviews said this as well the back is completely like like exposed so i guess and this is one of my older uh older uh clothes i bought but i haven't really worn this out because i don't know where to wear this out to i was assuming you could wear it to a for me, I would probably wear it to the beach or uh, the pool with my friends to like a little bit of a cover up because this is pretty tiny. It's very crop tube top look uh, style. Has little lettuce rims. I think I believe they're called on um, in the top and the bottom. It's definitely it's really cute. It has some, like a small bell bottom look to it at the end. It is more sheer than and see-through than the the red one I had. So that's why I also said it would be like more of a beach cover-up that I would use it for. Just because, I mean, if I'm wearing a bathing suit I don't, or, you know, a bathing suit under, I don't care to show it under. But if I'm wearing my bra and my skin showing through it, I don't feel like that's a little, uh, that's what I want to walk around showing. You're probably going to need to get someone to tie it for you in the back because I've had difficulty putting this on so with that being said i don't regret buying it but if if i was to go back i probably would probably buy something else just because i don't find myself wearing this anywhere but the beach or the pool here's the next item that i had it's one of my newer items that i bought it is an extra small a little disclaimer is I got all my items in a small or extra small. If I got it in an extra small, I'll let you know and I'll put all the sizes and everything I bought in the description below. I can normally get away with things that are extra small or or just tinier in size. But uh, in the review for this, it definitely did say to size up and, you know, it does run small. But everyone has said that was more of a medium, a large that had heavier uh, chest on them. So I just thought I could get away with it, getting an extra small. I didn't want to get anything that was too loose on me. So I got a small, extra small. And I can get away with it. I it, I like wearing this. I do wear it out all the time. It's just if I could go back in time, I would have gotten a small. So it just depends on you. If you're a medium and you know you're a, like a solid medium, you should go and get a large. And it's not just because like, oh you know, they they run small because you could probably fit a medium. It's just here in this body frame, you're going to be showing, if you get a medium and you say you're like a straight up medium, you're going to show a lot more skin. If you are comfortable and then that's what you want to do, then go get that. But for me, I probably would want more uh, fabric and more cover up on my stomach. So I do like a little bit of uh, skin showing. So I was, I was okay with it, but I normally wear high-waisted uh, jeans with this. With this because it just shows a lot of stomach area it has a lettuce uh, hem design in the top and the bottom and the, the a little bit on the sleeves it has a ribbed uh, pattern on it all throughout it's one of your basic summer like 
shirts that you that have been going around a lot this summer this past summer so this says Shein as well yeah definitely does stay well on your chest it doesn't fall there's no problem with it just definitely size up if you want a little bit more fabric to cover the stomach area so this item actually is one of my newer items as well i actually just i didn't buy it my friend bought it uh without that she didn't realize that she was buying two item um two items like twice so i have two items here that she gave me that are to uh that she had accidentally bought twice so she just gave it to me she got a medium in this and she got a medium also in the other one i'll show you later uh this isn't necessarily my style but i do like flannels it has a gray hoodie the texture uh the quality i mean is not like soft and like the most comfortable thing in the world but it isn't itchy as well it's just it feels like straight up cotton it's a basic fl uh flannel and it has buttons that haven't came off or anything they seem pretty well sewn in it also has a nice little pocket in here that isn't fake or anything it's definitely something i've worn once or twice but i haven't worn that often the hoodies do have strings and they're actually quite long and yeah it's well made no sewing problems i found with it so this next item is a t-shirt sweatshirt dress um i don't know i like it but it isn't one of my favorite it isn't my uh least favorite when i bought it i had it in in mind that i would wear it just to be comfortable in my house which i use it for but also it isn't at, like exactly the most comfortable thing in the world the, the fabric is it isn't the worst thing but i feel like i would had gotten had had some experience of getting a little itchy or a little uncomfortable in this i think one of the things that get me a little off with it is one the strings are huge they are so long they aren't like the other sweatshirts i have that are more uh, better quality it's like a flat fabric other than that it does work uh i mean i never had a problem with just the strings it's just it's not the greatest quality it has this like jersey type of design on the side of it the cuffs are really well are really um well made they're not just cut off they actually you know sewn on a perfect to like lash on so i definitely like that it has a hoodie and i don't personally use the hoodie i don't find the hoodie convenient or i don't know it's just there so it doesn't flatter the body in a way of like oh it it shows your figure or so it's literally just a box i just use it to be comfortable in my house i don't have anywhere to prove anything to me when i wear this it's just just to throw on but other than that uh i don't think if i went back i would buy it because i think i spent money that i'd rather i've gotten better material before with uh runway so so yeah i think i would i do believe it is what it shows and i believe it is what it's uh it's told it is but you know you don't know until you feel it so i definitely think that the quality here isn't as great so the next item is one of my favorite and also one of the most saddest item i have because i love this color the pattern the the uh the material of it i love everything about this it fits so well on me it was a basic crop top it's like a red a deep red wine color and it also has again the ri the ribbon uh pattern on it it's just so beautiful and if you can't see already it has a red and i don't know how this happened it's one of my newer items i've worn this quite a few times out and in my house I don't want to give you guys bad like opinion or bad or review on it and at CA it's gonna rip on you because I don't know what it caused at the time when I saw it rip it was when I was doing my laundry and I had taken it out and I had done a lot of laundry so I I don't know if it, during the the process of getting dried it's just the 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 sewing here just got loose because I did put it on for a long time I had a lot of clothes in there i don't know i'm definitely gonna try to fix it and sew it up and try to make it 
uh, look how it used to be. I didn't see any other review that said that it had that problem or they had that problem. So I would definitely recommend this. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to try to fix this. This next item I have is one of the items that my friend had given me uh, that she had accidentally bought twice somehow. Um, it says born in the 90s. It's not... It's fairly good material. It's not like... It's not... It doesn't feel like it was just like ironed on. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to deteriorate in, when you wash a few times. It's also one of the shirts that I have experienced that collects a lot of um, my dog's hair and lint in general. So it has it on it already. Again, you could just roll it off with a lint roller and all. It's a basic t-shirt. I've worn it before. It has good quality of material. Nothing about it is too like wow and again it's not exactly my style so I like her style. She has a very simple and very basic t-shirt like uh, style for her. So so yeah it's not it's not see-through or anything. It's, it's just a basic tee. So the next item I have is one of my favorites. It's also one of my newest items I bought from them. If you can't see already, it is a little bit dirty, and that's the con of the only con I kind of have of this uh, shirt. It it gets dirty so easily. I don't own many white things, so I know white things get dirty often, and that's why I don't own a lot of white things. <laughs> it's easy to clean. It never like had a like it never got stained, and I spilled hot chocolate on this before, so that's pretty shocking to me. The material of this is actually one of the most unique out of all of the. Uh, clothes I have it's kind of like polyester it's not some of the most of the items I have here were a mixture of you know polyester and cotton or just something that's very stretchy and soft and uh, shiny kind of and mixed with cotton so it was kind of more of a durable and then some of the items I have were just straight up like cotton feeling and this just kind of feels more a lot more I don't want to say just straight up but a lot more on the polyester side it definitely has that kind of shiny reflecting on it but I don't mind it it's soft uh I know a lot of times with the with the polyester uh material if it's just made up of it it's kind of sheer which I thought it originally was going to be but it's not at all never had a problem with it the design on the shirt is not ironed on you're not gonna have a problem with it it's it's inked on I don't even know how to describe how they made it but this is by far one of my favorite uh, shirts I bought got so many compliments on it. Definitely a shirt I would recommend. It's a kind of it's a crop top, basic tee. Just the only thing is it gets dirty, so might want to be careful. So the next item I have here uh, is a bright orange with a white outline. It says honey. I love the color of it. The quality of this tank top, it's like a crop top tank top, is really well. It's really good material. Uh, it has cl like clips on clips on the back of it to adjust the strings, which I found uh, to be very useful. Obviously, in a lot of items, just because you know people are different uh, heights and sizes, so it's definitely uh, very useful and great to add on. Problem with the clips as well is it's kind of hard to adjust. It's a little bit it's a little bit tough, and it seems like. Although they add it and it seems to be, you know, a great thing to have on, it's not as, uh, it's not, it doesn't work as well as it's supposed to for its purpose. So I don't know if I just have to play around with it. I haven't worn, it's one of my newer items and I haven't worn it uh, that often. I just wore it to like bed or my house. The honey, um, what's it called? Letters are not iron on, they're more sewn, so they're not gonna come off or anything. Uh, I don't know exactly what it's or exactly how it's placed on it. It's definitely well made. I definitely recommend this if this is a shirt that you think you will like. Um, I also think it'll probably be better on someone who's like a medium or a little bit more has a chest on them as I do not. So I just think that also plays a role in it. But uh, I definitely recommend this for the price. So this next item I have, I didn't, I'm not having it on a hanger just because it's the only skirt uh, I bought from Wrong Way and I love it so much. It's a olive green color. It's pretty long. It goes down. To, I don't. 
I, I want to say my ankles. It's like figure, uh, figure flatting, figure flattering. I couldn't say that for a minute. Uh, on the body, it's, it has a nice waistband, uh, elastic waistband, so it claps onto the the waist. You kind of wear it for a little bit of anything, so I definitely recommend this skirt. So this item I have right here is a crop top sweater. Um. This is probably the only sweater kind of item besides the skirt or shirt that I got that is thick material. Like, I'm actually surprised for the price I got it for, how thick the material is. So, I don't want to say it's going to keep you warm during winter because it's a crop top, but it's definitely something you might want to not consider wearing, like, a lot in the hottest days of summer. Spring, fall, it would be great for... It's just, it will, you will probably sweat in this if you wear it in the summer. So I think this was well made. It has a hoodie, which I don't recommend using the hoodie for a hoodie. I mean, it, it's a little, it's a little awkward, which I'll show you if you wear the hoodie on, on top of your head. I love the color of it. It looks exactly like the photo. The ending of the sleeves has this uh, clasp to it. So it will, you know, it will lash onto your arms or your hands, your arms better and your wrists which I find to be great because I have really small wrists. The reviews that I've seen with it have said, you know, size up. I believe I got this in a small. It doesn't exactly show me here, I believe. Um, if I got it in a, in a different size, I would I'll say it somewhere in the uh, uh, video. But uh, I would definitely agree to size up just because I feel like I got this in a small, which I normally am. And I feel like if I sized up, it wouldn't have done much of a difference in like fitting me but maybe gave me more uh, fabric to cover my stomach so I definitely wear this with a high waisted again it just depends on how much uh, skin you're willing to show or you're comfortable with showing I'm not too uncomfortable showing uh, skin my stomach but I still do wear it with a high waisted I just feel like it's more uh, you know more my style so I definitely would recommend this it's a nice it doesn't have any strings with it but I mean I, I only, I'm not going to use the hoodie anyway, so for the price, I definitely would recommend this. So this next item I have is actually one of my older items as well. Um, I actually like this item a lot. I use it quite frequently in my uh, everyday lifestyle when I go to school and everything. Again, it has the rib pattern on it. I think I went a little bit overboard with that this summer, but uh, I love the color again. It's more of a purple, not as deep as... The, some of my other maroon burgundy colored shirts are. The only thing with this I have a problem with is it cuts really short. So I do feel like when you're wearing it, it kind of does bunch up on in the bottom of it. And I definitely like wearing this with high waisted to like tuck in. But even with that, it kind of rises. So if you have a long torso, I would maybe like recommend sizing up just because of that. I have I don't have that long of a torso uh, torso or I don't have that short of a torso either. So this fits me pretty well. It's just those a few occasions where it will bunch up. The material it feels great. It's not it's not sheer at all. The the top of the neck the I don't know what's called. It's not a turtleneck. It's like a half turtleneck to be honest. Um, so it's not like a like a low a low uh cut it's definitely adds a little bit more uh fabric to the top to the neck area there's a funny story with this shirt actually that my dad had bought a uh shirt for men online similar to i guess this shirt and he wore it uh when it came in he wore it and it just looks so funny i wish we had a picture of it we tried to but my dad wasn't having it and it had the same pattern same color same type of design and I ran upstairs and I put on my, uh, I put on this shirt and I went downstairs and my family was just laughing so hard because, I don't know, the shirt on him looked a bit feminine and he's a pretty big, uh, you know, muscular uh, man. So it was just very funny to see his daughter and, um, you know, me and him next to, next to each other having matching shirts. So it was just very funny. So the next item I have here, <sighs> I am quite disappointed it's the only thing i've actually been like like no 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 like everything else maybe has some like one or two cons but this dress is a small 
and you'll see when I try it on how flimsy it is. It looks like the picture, but oh my lord, it is so flimsy on me. I don't, I don't understand why I've gotten us. I don't know if I got this in an extra small or in small. Uh, I'll make that clear in the in the video, but it just falls on me. It doesn't flatter my body. It if if you're a medium or you're like a small to a medium, it might fit you better. I don't want to give it such a bad rating or like a bad uh review on it because it is it isn't the best um, worst material. It isn't like it is what it, sh it is um it is what it is in the photo. So I don't want to give it such a bad uh, review just because it didn't fit me. But that is something you gotta take in like in mind that like all the other f uh, for, uh, all the other clothes I've tried on or, or bought from them fit pretty well. I don't know. I think that I'm not gonna keep put this to waist. I just might make it to a two piece and you know tailor it to my body or I might make it to a one uh one piece or what a bodysuit. Like this video if you want to see me you know, try and make this into something else and, you know, show you guys what it, you know, turns out to be. That might be a fun project for me. Uh, you know, I'm not exactly a fashion, you know, clothes maker, but, you know, I could probably throw something up with, um, you know, make something out of this. So, you know, give this, this video a thumbs up and we'll see with that. Well, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Uh, if you want any more videos like this, you know, for Shein, Wish, uh, you know, other different types of websites that you're considering buying from that you need uh, some reviews on, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you. Bye.